Humans use simple machines to make the work of lifting or moving things easier. Simple machines include things like levers, wedges and pulleys. A single pulley lets you change the direction of a force. But if you're lifting a load, you'll still have to lift the whole weight, which may be too much for your human muscles. A two-pulley system makes lifting or moving things easier, like a heavy sail. It only takes half the pulling force to lift a sail using a two-pulley system, but you don't get anything for free. You'll have to pull twice as much rope, or it may take twice as long, but your human muscles have been made more powerful by the pulleys. You will often see pulleys attached to cranes. Think about construction machines that you may have seen. If you look around, you may find you have some pulleys in your house. So your challenge today is to make a crane from cardboard that has a pulley. You'll then test it till it breaks. To do this activity, you'll also need some string, some thin wood, plastic or metal rods, some water bottles to act as a load, or you could use some tins, and some round rings or paper clips that can act as a pulley. You can use scissors on thin cardboard, but take care if it's thick. Fold the cardboard to make a nice, long, strong beam. It should be big enough so it can extend or cantilever off the edge of a table by a distance of 30 centimetres. You may want to weigh down the other end on the table. To lift the load, we're going to make a simple two pulley system. First, you need an upper pulley. This needs to be smooth or able to spin to reduce friction. If you have a cotton reel, that could work really well as a pulley wheel, but a smooth pen or pencil will work well too. The string goes over the upper pulley. The string then goes down and through the lower pulley. This could be a key ring or just a paper clip. Watch out for that friction though. You want the string to move through the pulley smoothly. Finally, thread the string all the way back up and tie it off at the beam of your crane. Attach a small weight to your lower pulley. That is the load. Pull the string. How far did your load lift? How much string did you pull? You could even make a graph. How far did you pull the string on one axis and how far did the load move on the other? Try plotting different distances. What did you see? Now that you have a working crane and pulley, it's time to test it. For this, you'll need your drinking water or soda bottles or your tins. Their label should say how much they hold and you will need something to tie them to the bottom pulley. A plastic shopping bag might be useful. Try lifting one bottle. You may have to hold the arm of your crane with your other hand. Keep adding weight, testing your crane and try to fix any problems as you go. Keep a good record of how much load you are lifting. Add up the weight in grams from the label of tins or the number of millilitres of liquid in any bottles you use for a total. When your crane arm begins to break or can't hold any more, stop and make a note of the last amount of load that it could hold. And that is your score. <laughs>